The men's ice hockey tournament of the 2018 Winter Olympics has just completed its first round of play. In this video, we're going to do a recap and I'll give you my analysis. And that's coming up next. Hey everyone and welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. We review and discuss all 31 NHL teams as well as international tournaments. So if you're a huge hockey fan, consider subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So the first round of action is all completed at the 2018 Winter Olympics for the Men's Ice Hockey Tournament in Pyeongchang, South Korea. So let's take a quick look at the results and I'll do a recap and give you my analysis on how the tournament has gone thus far. So first of all, we'll start with each group and run down how they finished and I'll give you a few highlights off of each team. So let's start with Group A. First place finisher is the Czech Republic, who had two victories in regulation, one victory in overtime. So they won all three games. So key players for the Czech Republic include Michael Berner, three assists, Dominic Kavalik, two goals, and we also had Michael Repelik scoring three goals and one assist so far in this tournament. So the Czech Republic have looked very, very strong. They had some key victories. One of the victories was over Team Canada in a shootout, which came right down to the wire. Uh, it came really close. Canada's uh, shootout attempt to tie the game up went off the post. It was quite a finish, and the Czech Republic has been putting, putting on a good show so far, so good on them. So they're the first place finisher in this group, and they automatically advance to the quarterfinals. So the next round of playoff matches, they will get a bye past that round. Second place finisher in Group A was Team Canada, who had two victories as well as one overtime loss, which came against the Czech Republic. For Team Canada, their top players so far is Derek Royce had five assists. Rene Bork has had three goals. In the last game that they played against Korea, we saw a variety of players score. Their energy line of Max Lapierre, Rob Klickhammer, and Eric Waddell has looked pretty solid as well for Team Canada. So overall, they've had some pretty decent play. Ben Skirvitz has looked pretty good in the net. And uh, goalie Kevin Poulin recorded the shutout against Team Korea. Now moving on, we had Switzerland finish in third place. They had one victory and two losses. Um, so they ended up with a goal differential of plus one. Goal differential here is something they use in case of a tie. Uh, for Team Switzerland, the main player was uh, Pai Suter, who was scoring three goals for his team. And the last place in Group A was Team South Korea, who unfortunately lost all three matchups and put up a pretty good fight. Finished with a minus 13 goal differential. There really wasn't a whole lot of uh, players to, to really mention from that group. Um, that, you know, a lot of them don't have a lot of international experience. But I know I saw the game uh, against Canada to wrap up the tournament here uh, early this morning. And they uh, they looked pretty solid, I must say. They, they gave Canada a pretty good go. It wasn't until late in the game when they started to pull away. And considering their level of experience, I must say they put up a valiant effort and looked pretty good. So that's how things went down in Group A. Moving on to Group B, the Olympic athletes from Russia finished in first place. They finished with a record of two wins and one loss, a plus nine goal differential. The Olympic athletes from Russia had some great performances, including superstar Ilya Kovalchuk scoring four goals. Kaprizov also scored four goals, and they had two players, uh, Gusev and Andronov, each recording four assists. So even though they had one game where they had a bit of a scare against the Slovaks, the, uh, the Olympic athletes from Russia certainly picked things up and looked pretty solid like they were expected to. Up next is Team Slovenia. They had a record of 0-1-2. and and oh, so they ended up with a minus four differential. Their big highlight was defeating Team USA, which came in overtime. So they had one of their victories was an overtime victory uh, against USA, and they also beat the Slovaks in overtime as well. So they ended up with quite a record. Uh, Slovenia ended up surprising quite a few people here and ended up putting up quite the performance. Now for the Slovenian team, uh, the main star was Jan Mersak. had three goals and two assists. He seems to be their leader thus far. Uh, and finishing third in Group B was Team USA with a record of one win, one loss, and one overtime loss. Uh, their main player putting up some points is Ryan Donato, uh, two goals and one assist. Uh, Donato is expected to make the NHL, if not after this tournament, next year for sure. Uh, I think, uh, I've seen some speculation he may be going to the Bruins after the tournament, but I've seen other reports indicating he's returning back to college, so I'm not sure what's going down there, but Donato certainly has a bright future. Um, a lot of the other Team USA guys are not putting up very many points. And they've uh, certainly struggled so far. So kind of a surprise from the USA. I mean, I based on the Olympic preview video I did earlier, uh, and if you missed that video, there'll be a YouTube card up here to, to go back and watch the preview. I mean, I figured USA would, would perform a little bit better than this. I knew they'd have a hard time based on their roster with some of these teams, but I certainly did expect a little better than what we've seen so far. 
Uh, last place in Group B was Team Slovakia with one win, one loss, and one overtime loss. The main player for the Slovaks uh, putting up some numbers are Peter Sarasnik and Dominic Granik, each recording three points. So the Slovaks and the Slovenians each had some surprise victories. The Slovaks ended up beating the uh, Olympic athletes from Russia and the Slovenians beat the Americans. So there's certainly quite, uh, quite a few surprises in Group B and uh, certainly makes for some entertainment for sure. In Group C, we saw Team Sweden go perfect 3-0. That uh, was a plus seven goal differential, so the Swedes look excellent as predicted. Uh, Anton Lander with a couple goals. Victor Stahlberg has uh, a goal for Team Sweden, a very nice one the other day. And Linus Olmark has recorded five assists, uh, so he's certainly helping set up lots of goals for the Swedes. The Swedes look phenomenal so far. Uh, Rasmus Dahlin hasn't seen a whole lot of playing time, um, so it looks like the Swedish fans who have indicated to me he probably wouldn't get a lot of playing time uh, before the tournament started, but so far you guys are right. He's only played limited action. He only played one game so far. I think he only played around five minutes. So hopefully he gets a little bit more ice time here moving forward. But Team Sweden looks fantastic so far. The Finns are in second place. Team Finland, they won two games and they lost one. Eli Tolvin is leading their way with six points. He's looked phenomenal for them, as well as uh, Samuel Lepisto as well. Uh, Germany finished in third place with 0-2 and 1 and 0 record. A minus three differential. Uh, the main player for the Germans putting up some points is Patrick Hager, scoring two goals. And in the last place in Group C, we had Norway, who unfortunately didn't win any games. They were 0-2, 1-1 record. Uh, Patrick Thornson by far, has been their best player so far. So we've had lots of upsets, lots of surprises. This is a pretty much a wide-open tournament so far. So obviously, without the NHL players uh, participating, it's certainly a lot harder to predict the outcomes of some of these games. Uh, the, the, but I must say, the level of play has been pretty good, and the entertainment value has certainly been there to watch. Uh, so let me know down in the comments if you've been watching the tournament and what your thoughts are so far. I know I've been watching, and considering uh, what players are participating, I am certainly impressed with the level of play we've seen so far. Now, here's what's going to be coming up next uh, as the tournament moves forward. So the top four teams uh, are going to get a bye for the next round. So they're the leaders from each group, which was the Czech Republic, the Olympic athletes from Russia, as well as the Swedes, and then the top team amongst the rest, which was Team Canada. So those four teams will get a bye through this next playoff round. So that means there's going to be eight teams that are going to be playing for their right to go on to the quarterfinals. So those, uh, those eight teams, obviously that means there'll be four games, and those four winners will play the four teams that I just mentioned are getting a bye. So how that's going to work is we got Team Switzerland playing Team Germany. The winner of that game will go on to play the, Swe uh, the Swedes for Team Sweden. Team Finland will play Team Korea, uh, and then the winner of that game will play Canada. Team USA plays Team Slovakia, and the winner of that will go on to play the Czech Republic. And then we have Team Slovenia will play Team Norway, with the winner of that game going on to play the Olympic athletes from Russia. So then the two top uh, brackets, so the winner from Sweden and Germany plays Sweden. Uh, the Finland and Korea winner plays Canada, then those two teams will play in the semifinals and go on from there. So basically, um, if you want to make some predictions here, I thought it would be fun to kind of give you my thoughts on who might win. So between Switzerland and Germany, I'm going to go ahead and pick the Swiss team. I think they have a little bit more overall experience and fared a little bit better in this tournament so far. Uh, Finland against Korea, I'm definitely picking the Finns. Uh, as I mentioned, Korea has put up a pretty good effort considering their level of experience. But I can't go against the Finns in this game. So Team Finland, uh, certainly I would predict to move on to the next, next round. Uh, Team USA against Team Slovakia. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick the Slovaks here. I know normally I would pick the, the USA team, but to be honest, they haven't looked real good so far, and I can see the Slovakian team upsetting the Americans. Uh, next up, we have Slovenia versus Norway. Uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and pick Slovenia. They've looked pretty solid so far, and I can't bet against them against uh, a team like Norway who hasn't fared very well so far in this tournament. So that would uh, set up the, ne the next round of matchups, if I'm correct, would be the team Switzerland against Sweden. We'd see the Finns against Team Canada. The Slovaks against the Czech Republic, and Slovenia against the Olympic athletes from Russia. So it should make things interesting as we move forward in the tournament. So certainly leave some comments down below. Who have you been impressed with so far? And who do you think is going to win in these next playoff round games that we just went through? So give me your thoughts. I'm looking forward to hearing what everybody has to say. And we'll certainly be doing another recap here as the next round completes. So certainly don't forget as well to follow us on social media. You're going to see our Twitter handle on our screen right here. We're also on Facebook and Instagram and all those social media accounts are linked down below in the description. As always, thank you very much for watching, everybody. We will catch you next time.